Thank you very much. And I've uh, got them right. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So let's do elimination. All right. It's going to be simple, right? So I take two of this row away from this row. So this row stays the same. And two of those come away from this. That leaves me with a zero and a one. And two of these away from this. Is that what that... Is that what you're getting? After one elimination step, uh, I'll, let me sort of separate the, the left half from the right half. So two of that first row got subtracted from the second row. Now, now this is in upper triangular form. Gauss would quit, but Jordan says keep going. Use elimination upwards. Subtract a multiple of equation two from equation one. To, to get rid of the three. So let's go the whole way. So now I'm going to, this guy is fine, but I'm going to, what do I do now? What's my final step that, that produces the inverse? I multiply this by the right number to get up to there, to, to, to remove that three. So I guess uh, since this is a one, there's the pivot sitting there. I multiply it by 3 and subtract from that. So what do I get? I'll have 1, 0. Oh, yeah, that was my whole point. I'll multiply this by 3 and subtract from that, which will give me 7. And I multiply this by 3 and subtract from that, which gives me a minus 3. And what's my hope, belief? Here, here I started with, with A and the identity, and I en ended up with the identity and who? That better be A inverse. That's the Gauss-Jordan idea. Start with this long matrix, double length, AI. Eliminate, eliminate, until this part is down to I. Then this one will, must be, for some reason, and we've got to find the reason, must be A inverse. Shall I just check that it works? Let me just check that, can I multiply this matrix, this, this part times A, I'll carry A over here and just do that multiplication. Uh, you'll see I'll do it the old-fashioned way. 7 minus 6 is a 1. 21 minus 21 is a 0. Minus 2 plus 2 is a 0. Minus 6 plus 7 is a 1. Check. So that is the inverse. That's the Gauss-Jordan idea. So you'll, one of the homework problems, or more than one uh, for Wednesday, will ask you to go through those steps. I think you just got to go through Gauss-Jordan a couple of times. <coughs> but, uh, so I, I, like, yeah. Just to see the mechanics. But the um, important thing is, why is, like, what happened? Why did we, why did we get A inverse there? Let, let me ask you that. W we got... So we take, we, we do row reduction, we do elimination on this long matrix AI until the first half is up. Then the second half is A inverse. Well, how do I see that? Let me put up here how I see that. So here's my, here's my Gauss-Jordan thing, and I'm doing stuff to it. So I'm... A whole lot of E's. Remember, those are those elimination matrices. Those are the those are the things that we figured out last time. Yes, that's what an elimination step is. Is is it's in matrix form? I'm multiplying by some E's, and the result. Well, so I'm multiplying by a whole bunch of E's. So I get a. Uh, can I call the overall matrix E? That's the elimination matrix, the product of all those 
little pieces. What do I mean by little pieces? Well, there was an elimination matrix that subtracted two of that away from that. Then there was an elimination matrix that subtracted three of that away from that. I, I guess in this case that was all. So there were just two E's in this case. One that did this step and one that did this step and together they give me an E that does both steps. And the net result was to get an I here. And you can tell me what that has to be. This is like the, the picture of what happened. If E multiplied A, whatever that E is, we never fi figured it out in, in, by, by, in this way. But whatever that E times, that E is, E times A is, What's E times A? It's I. That E, whatever the heck it was, multiplied A and produced I. So E must be, EA equaling I tells us what E is. Namely, it is, it's the inverse of A. Great. And therefore, when the second half, when E multiplies I, it's E, but that's A inverse. You see the, the picture looking that way? E times A is the identity. That tells us what E has to be. It has to be the inverse. And therefore, on the right-hand side, where, e, where we just smartly tucked on the identity, it's turning in, step by step, it's turning into A inverse. There is the, the statement of gauss jordan elimination. That's how you find the inverse. We're, we, look, we can look at it as elimination, as solving n equations at the same time. And tacking on n columns, solving those equations, and up shows the n columns of a inverse. Okay, thank you. See you on Wednesday.